And now, your Fox 24 local weather authority forecast. Colder air is the bigger story this morning. Despite some clouds, rain free and snow free. This is a live look at the tall city early on your Thursday morning. We do notice those yellows and oranges along the horizon, indicating that that sun has risen. A lot of high altitude thin clouds moving up through quickly, indicating a lot of strong winds higher up in the atmosphere. A little bit breezy this morning, but not quite as windy as what we have been seeing. But because of that pesky northerly breeze with colder air this morning, it's feeling like the single digits in the teens. Make sure you guys bundle up this morning. And despite that weather pattern change, we saw rain and snow moving off to the north and west of our viewing area with High altitude, thin clouds rolling on through quickly, not producing any rain or snow this morning. The latest update within the drought monitor does show um, normally dry conditions in the heart of the basin, but where the real drought is, is in parts of Ector and Midland counties, moving to La Mesa, Big Spring, and also in Hobbs. These tan colors, orange colors, and yeah, red colors now spreading along I-20 just off to the east of Midland, Odessa, and Big Spring towards Abilene, and now North and west of Hobbs indicates the second worst form of drought, extreme drought. That was just the latest update showing some worsening conditions in northern areas while some improvement in the southern part of our viewing area. But still, really things haven't really changed too much despite some of these clouds rolling off through the basin. Later this morning to the afternoon, we will eventually see more sunshine this afternoon with no rain or snow likely in the forecast, at least for the short term. 22 right now in the Tulsa City with a north wind at 13 miles per hour, making it feel like 10. It feels like 7 and 7 all feels like 4 right now in Hobbs. Pesky northerly winds will be the bigger story this morning, making it feel colder than these actual air temperatures. Average low 37 and high 64. Low temperature. Similar to what we're seeing right now at 22 before warming up to 46 degrees. Temperatures 15 to 20 degrees below normal for this time of year. High 30s and 40s in the higher elevations. 40s and lower 50s in the Trans-Pecos. Likely below the 50 degree mark today in the tall city. High 50s and lower 60s near the Rio Grande before. Even colder air tonight will ensue because of clear skies and lighter winds and even drier air. Winds out of the north northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour with drier air allowing temperatures to drop. Radiational cooling adds full effect. Low temperatures in the low 20s and upper teens. Tomorrow morning starting off at 19 before only warming up to 51 degrees. Slightly warmer compared to what we're seeing today. Probably because of those winds eventually switching out of the south in a light way. 46 today, 51 tomorrow. Not much warmer tomorrow. 22 this morning, 19 overnight. So yeah, we're going to be seeing very cold air, but not as windy conditions tomorrow morning. But those winds will pick up more from the south. Allowing temperatures to rise this weekend. 60s, 70s, 80s, more clouds, higher humidity. Eventually, a higher chance of rainfall will ensue by next week.